guys, so for today's video, it's going to be a get ready with me. So it's just going to be makeup and outfit. I do usually do hair with these kinds of things, but obviously it's just curly hair. But I've been super busy, so I was just like, I literally just want to sort of get it up and get it on. So yeah, it's basically my friend's surprise party. Obviously when this goes up, it all had gone. But yeah, I'm super excited and I can't wait to get ready. So, everything will be listed down below. So, makeup. Um, I'll list like the hair products I use as well and the hair curler if you wanted to know nail varnish um, or everything like that so yeah let's jump into it so I've already put on the Benefit Brow Valve Conditioning Primer so I just put this on the brows really quickly let it sit and then this is what we've got so now I'm going to take the Anastasia Brow Wiz so this is in the colour taupe so I'm literally just going to comb through the brows and then fill them in. And because I'm feeling a little bit extra, I'm going to dip into the Anastasia Brow Wiz. So this is also in taupe. And I'm also going to take the number 12 brush. So I just like to dip my brush in a little bit. And then I'll take whatever's on like this lid. I'll just sort of pat it off a little bit. Just because I don't want too much because obviously I've gone in with pencil. But you can just go in with pencil, you can just go in with dip brow, it's whatever brows you prefer. But you know, I like 10 products on my brows. Take a bit of Benefit Gimme Brow, so this is in the shade 1. So you should just take that through the front of the brows. So for highlight, I'm going to take the MAC Extra Diminished Skin Finish in O Darling, so basically a highlighter. Um, this is so so beautiful so this is what this looks like so I'm going to take that on a crown brush C510 you're going to take a little bit of that and just pop a bit of that underneath the brow bone a little bit of tape down because we are going to do a wing today so I am going to take the Desi and KE um, Dose of Colour for Incation palette so this is what it looks like inside and the packaging is stunning as well but anyway past the packaging I'm going to take, I think it's necessary, this nice neutral shade up here. I'm going to take that on a Spectrum BO6. And I'm going to put that right into the crease. These are super pigmented, so be really careful when you're using it. And I'm just going to blend that out with a Crown Brush C429. It's like this nice duo fibre brush. Now to deepen up the socket, I'm going to take this bottom shade, which is Churro. So this nice brown shade down here. And I'm going to take that on a Spectrum AO7. I'm actually just going to put that directly in the socket. I'm just going to blend that out again with the same crown brush that we used. So to deepen out the outer corner, I'm going to take this nice brown shade, which is Cheens. So I'm going to take this on... I don't even know what brush this is. It's like from Coveted. Um, it's just a nice, literally dense brush. You can get these from anywhere. The, the brand just don't make brushes or anything anymore. So, but I still really like the brush. I need to find something similar to it. So I'm just going to pack that on the outer corner. And bring it in to almost like the center of like my uh, pupil. So basically it's halfway in. It don't matter if we go a little bit over because we can just cover it up with some glitter. So to blend that out, I'm just going to take a Crown Brush C528. I'm just going to take it around the crease area and just sort of buff it in the centre bit as well, which we will go ahead and buff later on. I just want to diffuse the colour a little bit first. Now I'm just going to take some Tarte Shape Tape and I'm going to take a Spectrum A16 and I'm just going to do a half cut crease with it. So I'm just going to place it down. I think got that in my nose. Place it down here. Up to look up. And now I know where to cut my crease. I'm going to turn my finger and just pat that out. Blend it out some more as well. That little, I think it was the C528 brush from Crown Brush. 
Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this palette from Iconic. So this is a pigment palette. So when you open it up, you get little shades and then this is super hard for me to open like this, but basically you open it up and it has a little seal and then you pop it open. Um, obviously I'll show the pigment through like a little camera and put the picture here. It's just because if I hold it, everything will fall out. Um, cause obviously it is a loose pigment, but I feel like this is such a good little palette. Um, so you've got like six pigments in here. So it's like on the go kind of thing, you can throw it in your bag and off you go. So yeah, I'm going to take the shade golden rose, which is going to be this nice middle shade here. So I'm going to take that on the same spectrum A16 that we used. Basically, I'm going to pick up a little bit of pigment and pack it on top of the lid. And I'm just going to take the little crown brush and just sort of pull the pigment over slightly just so we can get this nice and blended. I feel like if you wet this, it looks super, super intense. So once I've got the other eye on, I might go ahead and wet it and just put a little bit more on. So I'm just going to take a little bit more on my brush and then I'm going to take the Iconic Prep Set and Glow Spray and just spray two pumps on the side, on the side, on both sides, and just pack that on top. Yeah, that's really, really pretty. I'm so impressed with that little pigment palette. So gorgeous. I mean, I've literally used one shade, but I'm like, I'm in love. If they're all like that, then yeah, beautiful. So I am going to do some winged eyeliner. So today I'm going to take the Stila Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Eyeliner. So this is waterproof and it is also, I don't think it's black, it's intense black. So yeah, I'm just going to draw little wings and I'm going to try and stay on camera. But basically what I like to do is, I like to keep tape on just because I'm nowhere near, like if someone took this tape away from me, there'd be no winged eyeliner ever. So yeah, I just like to take it and draw a very thin line. Like so. And then I just... keep drawing lines till basically I get what I want so I'll do like this and then I'll just go ahead and fill it in really this is risky I've never tried this liner before um so yeah it's a risky business using liquid eyeliner on a day like this especially when it's brand new but we're here and we're doing it finally breathe so once I've got my winged eyeliner on, I like to take the Model Co Eye Definer Crayon in black and I basically just like to well, put this through my top waterline. And that's basically the eyes complete for now. So I'm just going to finish up the other eye and then I'll be back to do the base. Okay, so eyeliner is on. I do like the eyeliner, but the Kat Von D one is just, it's so, it is like literally a smidgy bit tinier than this so you can really draw a super thin line I'm trying to stay away from Kat Von D but this is really nice and sometimes with the Kat Von D one it can jump especially like over glitters and this hasn't done that and I'm yeah I do like it but that Kat Von D one is just just got a place in my heart but I don't, I don't want to use Kat Von D stuff anymore so what we doing next skin next so let me bring all of my stuff forward so just to prime this part of my nose, I'm going to take the e.l.f. Prep and Blur Stick. So I'm literally just going to take a bit on my finger, just sort of push it on. Then for the rest of the primer, I'm going to take the Nip and Fab Rose Gold Essence. So I'm going to take that on an e.l.f. stippling brush. I'm literally just going to put about five drops on there. And I'm just going to dust this all along the face. I'm going to avoid the nose just because we put a little bit down there already like that's more a blurring part my cheeks are super red because I've got the ring light on me um just because like I rely on a lot of natural light and it is completely dark outside so for foundation I'm going to take the hourglass vanish stick foundation so this is porcelain and golden just because I've got a slight self tanner on so I like a little bit of golden in there but golden's too dark for when I'm tanned and then obviously porcelain's too light so that's where we mix two but don't feel like you have to mix two because you don't um so yeah just gonna take a little bit of that I'm super excited for the vanish stick liquid um I can't wait for it to come out when it comes out. I will obviously do a review on it. 
but uh yeah i'm super happy about it so now that we've got that all on i'm just going to blend it out with the clarisonic so just turn it on so i'm just going to take a bit of the tart shape tape shape tape shape tape shape tape shape tape in light let's see i used to really i've gone through applying a little bit to applying a lot to realizing i don't really like a lot to go back to apply a little bit so i literally just take it like this and then just blend it out with this mini real technique sponge because i used to like really thick like triangles but i realized that i don't know like it just doesn't suit me very much um i just sort of feel like it looks more better just a little bit you know, and I can bring it down, but not look so highlighted everywhere, but still look bright enough to look like I'm um, getting eight hours of sleep every day. So I'm just going to take a little bit of this down the nose, you can say, down the chin, and then like some in the forehead. Same sponge, just blend that out. For cream contour, I'm going to take the Rimmel Instant Duo Contour Stick in light. So I'm just going to do a bit of this action. And do some down the nose. So to blend out this part, I'm going to take the Clarisonic. But to blend out the nose, I'm going to take the Luxie JD Wady 180 brush. So I'm going to take this side first and then I'll add a little bit of warmth with this side. So let's just go ahead and do that. To warm up the skin, I'm just going to take the Kevin Aquan, the Celeste Bronzing Vow in Tropical Night. So I'm just going to dip into this on a Spectrum CO7 and just bronze up the skin a little bit more. I'm just going to take a little bit. I'm just going to sort of dip into this lighter shade with the JD Wady 180 brush. I'm literally just going to run a little bit of that lightly on the nose. So for liquid highlighter, I'm going to take the iconic London Illuminator. So this is in the original. So I'm just, just going to take a dot of that on the back of my hand. Just because this stuff is so shiny, like glowy so i literally just want to be super careful i'm actually going to blend it out with the clarisonic so i'm just going to put a little bit on the nose on this side a little in the chin cute so on the nose a bit in my forehead we want to be glowy everywhere i'm just going to take a spectrum a12 and take a little bit of the liquid highlighter just sort of pop it in the inner corners. Now I'm going to take the Hourglass Vow Retouching Fluid. I'm literally just going to take a little bit of that on the inner corners. Just tap out with my finger. To set everything in place, I'm just going to take the Cover FX Perfecting Setting Powder. So this is Translucent Light, which I'm really baffled by the name. Why is it, if it's translucent, then obviously it's translucent. Like, what's it mean translucent light? Like, I don't understand that. I'm going to take that on a crown brush C530. This stuff is, like, finely milled. Like, I'm, like, when I get powder, I'm like, this is finely milled. No, this shit is fine. <laughs> it's like, it's not even powder. Like, I remember putting it on. I was just like, yeah, like I normally would. And it went all up my nose. And I was like... <laughs> so, yeah. Finely milled. So, I'm just going to put that on the under eyes. I'm actually just sort of going to apply it all over. So, for highlight, I'm going to go back into the MAC O'Darling. So, I'm just going to take that on a Crown Brush D529. I'm going to apply that to the tip of the nose. Ooh, look at that glow. And then the higher points of the face. Then I'm going to go into the Benefit Cheek Fun Palette. You can buy all of these shades. It's just, obviously, I have the palette. So I'm going to take Rock Chalk, which is this nice top shade up here. On that same Crown Brush C06, C07, sorry. And just apply that to the apples of the cheeks. 
take a little bit on the nose. So to finish up the lower lash line on the eyes, I'm literally just going to take a bit of Necessary and a bit of Churro on a Spectrum B06. I just want a little bit of this and I'm literally just going to run that along the lower lash line. Then I'm going to take a Spectrum A12 and take a bit of the Mako Darling and just pop that on the inner corners as well just to really brine it up. So to finish off the face, I'm going to take the Iconic London Prep Set and Glow. So you want to give this a good shape before you use it. You only need a little amount of this because when it's like Prep Set Glow, it is glow like, well, nobody's business. But I'm a little bit on the oilier side. So if you're maybe a little bit drier, you might like a little bit more. But I mean, I was glowy. Whew. Then I'm just going to finish it off with Urban Decay All Nighter Pollution Protection Setting Spray. So I'm going to apply mascara and lashes. So I'm going to take the L'Oreal Double Extension Waterproof. And then for lashes, this is the Lily Lashes. So this is like the Sephora collection. So I'm going to take these top ones up here, which I think, I think are Luxe. I'm not too sure. Obviously, there's no name. But I, I don't know if they're Miami. Because to me, it'd be like, oh, this is Miami and then this is Luxe. But um, I'm pretty sure my, Miami are more like fluffy. And Lux are um, less of that fluffy effect. I'm not too sure. But yeah, I'm going to take these ones up here. So I'm going to do that off camera and then I'll be back. So I don't know if I'm going to have time for lashes. But there's no lashes on at the minute. But for lipsticks, I'm going to take the Sao Paulo lipstick from Ofra. So this is a liquid lipstick. I could have said that literally. Ofra liquid lipstick in Sao Paulo. But I decided to go the long way around. So I'm literally just going to apply a bit of this. And then I'm going to take the Makeup Revolution Lip Topper in Exquisite, I believe that is. So I'm literally just going to apply a little bit of that on top. So I'm going to do my hair, come back with the outfit on, and then, yeah, that'll be this video complete. So this is the completed makeup look. So I'm going to go and get dressed, and then I'll be back. Okay, so that's the end of the video. I managed to get lashes on in time, but now I've got to go. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. Oh, right, bye. I saw you looking brand new all the night. Oh. This is my exercise bike. It's got a lot of features that I like. <laughs> I really took with my nose. This foundation and this pad is like, oh, give it to me. <laughs>